About five years ago, my buddy Scott brought me to this trail here, which he had affectionately dubbed the elevator shaft because of a series of drops. And there's, there's a number of these, and a number of drops off this thing, specifically right up here at the top, there's a couple, there's a section where you're right on the ridge and you could go off the right or the left and either one, if you do, cause it's very loose, very shale. If you went off either side, you lose your bike and you take it out you know, possibly be a helicopter. This spot right here is very, very nearly vertical. And right about here is you've got, you've got a two and a half foot drop at the top, dropping down and then you make a left hander and then you go down that shaft, which is nearly straight down. And then you have a right hander at the bottom of the shaft. And it is just sketchy. This is Tyler dropping down off of it. Tyler comes and says, okay, I'm gonna drop down, down this right off the bat. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because five years ago when I came and I looked at this, I was like, no, Scott, I'm not doing this. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I was just too scared to go off of it. And that haunted me for five years. And, and this year I'm like, I know we're gonna come back to this area. Scott, let's go find that elevator shaft and I'm just gonna go bombing down off of it. And it was really awesome because I was able to kind of gauge my progression. I knew 100% that I could make it down this elevator shaft, no problem, because of the progression that I had made and I wanted to come back and conquer that place and, and conquer that. Fear is probably not the right word, but just check that off my bucket list to say, okay, I didn't dare do it before, I'm gonna do it now. Um, and I'm not even gonna be worried about it. It's not even gonna be a big deal. And it, and it wasn't, it was so fun. So this is the run up to the elevator shaft. This is just kind of the wash that, that uh, gradually climbs up and then eventually at the top, it'll drop off that cliff, you know, off the other side. So um, it's just, it's, it's kind of a bookend for me where I knew that five years ago, there was no way I was dropping down it because I felt like the risks were too high. Um, and, I w and I was worried that I wouldn't make the turns, wouldn't be able to break and make those turns and I would lose my bike down the thing and maybe injure myself down in one of those you know, deep, dark holes. This time, hey, I knew it wasn't gonna be a big deal. And I wanted to go up and, and conquer and check that off my list so that I could get that out of my head and know that that trail wasn't still besting me. This is obviously the 2018 KTM 250 XCW TPI uh, fuel injected bike. The more I ride this, I rode this what two days ago um, on a Saturday, and here in I guess it's February. This thing, the more I ride it, the more I like the thing. I'm I'm really really surprised, and I, I actually love the forks. They're the Explore 48 forks. They are so good in the rocks. They are so good at absorbing things and just absorbing impacts, sharp edges, all those types of things. They have such a great feel to them. I really like them. In fact, in a lot of ways, for those types of things, those sharp edges that you just shot, saw there, I think they handle better than the Air Fork, uh, which I love on my 250 XC. And so there's nothing wrong with these forks. I think for most people, they're great. Uh, some of the time, they, they might blow through the stroke a little bit, but you could just adjust your compression there, you know, to, to do that. What do you think of that thing? I love it. Isn't it amazing? That's obviously Tyler's 2018 KTM 250XCF four stroke. That thing is unbelievable. All of us rode it and all of us went home wanting one because it's so much fun to ride. The 250 four strokes are just incredible to ride. They are my favorite four strokes because they don't have so much power that they just kill you and they just corner like a dream and rev like, it, they're, they're just amazing. There's something, something special about them. So now that we're at the top of the elevator shaft, I asked those guys if I could go down first um, and then I'd get down to the bottom and then I'd get the drone out and shoot them coming down it. So this is me uh, checking off a five year, um, 
you know, the, the trail ha was in my head for five years, and this is me going to go and conquer it and get it out of my head. So I get that this isn't like Red Bull Rampage or anything like this, but then again, when you watch Red Bull, Ram Red Bull Rampage, the GoPros make it look a lot easier than it really is. And I'm essentially down at the bottom now, and then I'll just get out the drone and, and uh, shoot those guys coming down. So it was a fun day, and it was a good thing to check off my bucket list and get that out of my head. And now I can go on not thinking uh, that the elevator shaft has bested me ever again, because I know that with 100% certainty, I can go down at easy spy.